Hello YouTube, I'm Paddy and in this video I'm going to show you how to find a wall stud using a magnet. So a stud partition wall is a non-load bearing wall that's used to divide open spaces into rooms. And the easiest way to tell the difference between a solid block or brick wall and a stud partition wall is to just give them a knock. So this wall here is a solid block wall and this wall is the stud partition wall. In Ireland and the UK, a stud partition wall is constructed using 4 inch by 2 inch timbers. Next, sheets of plasterboard are screwed to the studs. The joints are taped and then it's plastered. It's the screws that are going to tell us where the studs are located. Now this is not your average fridge magnet. This is a neodymium magnet and it has about 30 kilograms of pull force. Um, I got this on Amazon for about 7 quid. Um, I'll put a link in the description where I bought mine. Um, a regular magnet will work. Um, this is a torch I got in screw fix uh, for about five or six quid. And the bottom of it has a pretty strong magnet on it. Um, so I'll show you both of them working. Um, but yeah, it, it needs to be pretty strong, the magnet. Standard spacings between two studs is 400 millimeters or 16 inches so that's that's the center so from the center of one stud to the center of the next is going to be 400 millimeters um, now saying that it all depends on the carpenter or the builder of the home at the particular time um, it also depends on the size of the wall obviously if it's non-divisible by 400 you're going to have a smaller stud space in somewhere um, so the easiest thing to try is to do 400 mill millimeters first. So I'll show the tape. So you see the 16 and 40 is the markings. So we'll get the tape. And that's about there. And the next thing you get your magnet with your little piece of tape on it and just back and forth generally over the area until you feel the magnet pull and there we go that's a pull there so what you can do then get another piece of masking tape and put it over that The strongest point, just mark it and then continue down the wall. How much do I have on the camera? And there's another one. So there's one mark, there's the other. So just continue down the wall and then basically you'll get a straight line as to where you're stuck. And this is the uh, magnet on the bottom of the pen. Now you can't you can't see it on on the camera, but I can feel the magnet pull it at that point. Um, obviously, it's not as strong a magnet as the other one. So that's pretty much it. Just continue on down the length of the wall, and then the next thing to do is to try um, four hundred millimeters again to the next one. But you can also just not bother with the tape. Just go back and forth and down slowly until you feel the pull. Um, you will need a strong magnet. 
Uh, the one thing to be careful about is the magnet is not going to tell you the location of uh, copper pipe or electrical cable. So yeah, just be careful if you really do need to know or if you're really worried about it. Um, you can get a special detector. Um, I have one somewhere. Um, I'll put a link into the description of it as well. It'll tell you, it's basically a metal detector. It'll tell you the location of, of metal, ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Um, but it won't tell you the location of timber. So it's, you can use the same method with one of these detectors as well. Um, but this is very handy and cheap. So this is the detector in action. As you can see, it's working the same way as the magnet. It beeps as it detects the screws. So that's it. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, for more videos like this, please click the subscribe button and the little bell icon and give a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching.